another edition of the Florida State Simicast. <laughs> Miami, Miami, Miami. You thought you were back yet again. Georgia Tech, FAU, FIU, and App State. You thought you were back after playing those four teams. Seven in a row. Seven. Canes fans, just find a knife or a razor blade or anything with a sharp edge and just take it to your wrist right now. Holy fuck, man. You couldn't beat this retarded version of FSU. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Funny, dude. I mean, I woke up laughing this morning. Just fucking laughing. Like, did this fucking happen? Did that just happen? It fucking happen. FSU had every reason to lose this game. It was at Miami. They were coming off a heartbreaking loss to UNC. Uh, from what you read, it seemed like the locker room was becoming divided because the offense was doing their shit, but the defense was continuing to suck ass. You know, Miami's riding high, believing in themselves, trying to stop the streak, and you still couldn't do it. Still couldn't do it. God damn, man. Do myself and every other Knowles fan a favor. Crawl back into the hole that you just got out of a week ago and don't come out until you beat Florida State. There's no reason to start chirping the week of the game or if you go 3 or 4 0 again against some shitty ass fucking teams to start the year. No, no, no. Shut up until you beat Florida State. It's that simple. Unbelievable how many Canes fans out there just. Talking mad shit all week uh, on social media. Like, have you learned nothing? I'm sure there's some Canes fans that are cool. But there was a ton of them who were just believing. They were believing. Like, have you met Mark Richt? This is what he does, Kane fans. Loses to rivals. Loses games he's favored in. This is what Mark Richt does. Get used to it. Anyways, to the game. I'll give my, my half-ass analysis here. Actually, I had to go back and look because, you know, drinking during the entire game. It's a fucking blur. Uh, the FSU offense totaled 407 yards. Dalvin Cook just smoked Miami again. 150 rushing yards. Had that 59-yard touchdown reception. By the way, Dalvin Cook leads the country, or FBS, I guess I should be specific, leads the FBS in offensive yards. Oh, by the way. But FSU has two losses, so... He's not going to get much love. But yeah, he was great, as usual, versus Miami. Just totally just raped them, pretty much. By poor choice of words, words there. Uh, Francois, again, just hung tough, man. That kid is tough. He got fucking just slobber knockered all night. Just absolutely pummeled on a couple occasions and just kept getting back up. Smag came into the game for like one series. Promptly threw a pick. Poor Smag. Walked in there like, oh yeah, taking my job back, and I'm gone. Um, see who else? I'm trying to think on offense that that played big. Uh, Bobo Wilson actually had a good game. I don't remember his stats though. Uh, DeAndre ran the ball a little bit. I'd like to see that again. Um, nothing outstanding from the offense. They struggled for some some long portions of that game. But overall, they did enough, obviously. Uh, moving on to the defense. that This is the fun part. This Florida State defense, as any of you know, has sucked ass the entire year. Not just a bad defense for an FSU team. No, no, no. Like, historically bad for FSU and just absolutely atrocious, uh, regardless of, of what context you put it in. You know, the seven yards per play allowed. Uh, they're ranked in the hundreds on so many defensive categories. It was insane. The defense showed up. Me and my friend were bitching about them the whole game, pretty much making fun of them, like just waiting for them to fold, to cave in, to suck ass. However, throughout the game, we also were noting, wow, they, they're they they're winning first down. What the hell? Oh, shit, they got to stop on third down? Like, what what's going on? The defense came to play. Holy shit. And I guess, I, I, maybe I should have saw this coming. Actually, not exactly this. Maybe I should have saw an improvement coming because if the defense couldn't exert effort or discipline in a game versus a, a rival like this, then they were never going to do it. So I guess this would have been the game. 
this in Florida, of course, where the defense would actually like, holy shit, it looks like they're really, really focused and trying. Uh, amazing. They allowed just, I think it was about 270 total yards, something like that. 270. This defense has given up that more has given up more than that in, in a half. They gave that up for the game. 4.6 yards per play allowed. 4.6. If you heard me just a second ago, they allowed 7 yards per play on the season. They held Miami to 4.6. Now Miami, who played pretty much nobody the first four games, came where nowhere near that in their other games. Like, not even close. They averaged like 6, 7, 8, you know, upwards of 9 yards per play against the, the other scumbags they played. I mean, the defense, wow, I just couldn't believe they're getting stops. They were getting a pass rush, and damn, Miami's offensive line, are they not good? I had no idea about them, but they made uh, FSU's D-line look pretty good. Just, <laughs> I can't believe they held Miami to 19 points. Like, I thought for sure Miami would easily get in the 30s. But nope, didn't fucking happen. Brad Kaya, can people please get off his nutsack? He is good. He is not great. He is not elite. He should not be in the fucking first round like some jackasses have projected. The dude doesn't have a clutch bone in his body. Has, like, literally beaten nobody worth a shit in his entire career. He was awful in the second half. Like, just awful. I think he had less than 100 yards passing in the second half. I think he finished with a little over 200. Yeah, I'm just look like a chump. Like, quite a bit. Like, please stop hyping him up. He's good. He's, that's it, though. He's not great at all. Oh, that vaunted Miami running game with Yearby and Walton. Oh, yeah, shut the fuck down. Shut the fuck down. I think the combined, the running backs averaged like two-something yards a carry. Which, again, like, how, how, what, 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 what FSU defense is this? What the fuck? Uh, some different parts of the game that I can remember that were insane. Um, the Miami touchdown that was overturned. I think that was a touchdown. It was so super close. But what was a little surprising is, or I was a little surprised that it was overturned. Like, that, I think that would have been a simple play to just confirm. But you know how kind of ridiculous uh, the replays can be with getting overturned. Like, sometimes it's just difficult for them to, to want to do it. But they did, and it was the right call. That was a big moment in the game. Uh, Tavares McFadden's interception in the end zone was a huge play in the game. And, of course, the uh, targeting, or the non-targeting by Miami. Bad call. Clear as day, that was a bad call. Uh, however, I don't want to hear a single Kane fan use that as an excuse. That is not an excuse, because if memory serves, uh, FSU went three and out right after that penalty. So Miami wound up getting the ball back, and I think that next drive of theirs, they marched out the field. So, no, don't use that play as an excuse. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I'm never one to point the outcome of a game on a single play or call. I think that's a cop-out. That's a fucking lazy person's argument. That's bullshit. If you ever point to one player call as the reason why a team won or lost. Because I assure you, if that happened to FSU, if they got hose on a call like that, which they have, by the way, I wouldn't have blamed that call for the loss. I mean, between the two teams, I didn't look at the total plays, but I'm guessing anywhere between 120 and 150 play offensive plays were ran by the two teams combined. So out of 120-something to 150-something plays, whatever it was, I'm not going to say one player, one call dictates the outcome of the game. That's that's horse shit to me. And again, it wound up not mattering because FSU fucking didn't score on that possession, and they went three and out right after the penalty, if memory serves. And then, of course, you have Miami's last offensive touchdown. I don't know. Of course, I'm just being optimistic as I'm watching the game, but in that moment, I thought to, huh, they blocked UNC's extra point last week. Maybe they can do it again. And lo and behold, they blocked the extra point. Oh, I mean, wow. Miami fans 
their hearts had to just fucking drop to the fucking floor at that point. I mean, I know mine did when UNC's kicker made that 54-yard miracle kick. But I can't imagine losing it on the extra point being blocked. A guy that was pretty much cursed by the announcers. This kicker 72 out of 72 on extra points, and it's gone. Just wow. <laughs> so the Knolls hold on 20 to 19. Ridiculous. Re fucking ridiculous. And apparently, a few days before the game, um, FSU, I don't, I don't know if it was Fisher himself or combined effort by the staff, but they drew they drew up an agreement, like a a contract basically with the players. Uh, it's like a page long or so, saying how they're going to commit more effort and play with more pride, and they had to sign it. Well, shit, I wish you would have done that at halftime, because uh, at least for one week it appeared to work. Hold them accountable with a fucking written contract. It's pretty funny. Uh, Wake Forest is up next. Should roll them. Then it's a bye week, and then it's Clemson. I'll be at the Clemson game, so at the very least, I just hope it's close, but I doubt it. I'm... I would, unless this defense comes out with this kind of effort again, I would suspect Clemson just rolls. But you never know. Oh, man, what a game. Goddamn, Canes fans just just quit life. Just absolutely quit life. Seven in a row. We back. We back, dog. You're not back. You're not shit. All right. Good luck in the Coastal. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do from here, because... Yet another year goes by where FSU fans can pretty much say whatever the fuck they want to you. Anyway, that's it. That's all. That's my initial reaction. Some half-ass analysis and, uh, <laughs> you know, just <laughs> try not to laugh at Canes. Try, try not to laugh. Well, if you're a first-time visitor to this channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And this has been another Florida State Semicast. I'm out.